It's about damn time we get today's video out. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Black Tide TV. Today I've got a sniper gameplay for you that it's taken me all day to get for some reason. Usually I'm pretty good at sniping. We didn't actually have to call in phase B tide here for this video. I was just like, yeah, I can I can do this shit. It didn't work out too well. I wasn't doing that great with the sniper today. Phase B tide my alter ego who is really good with the sniper when he practices a little bit. He could have he could have got this gameplay in his sleep, but I mean this was really hard for me to get today I don't know why sniper was just not cooperating with me today. You're gonna see a lot of hard scoping You're gonna see a lot of really like noob pulling out the Marshall 16 mistakes and stuff like that But I don't care. I just I finally got a good enough gameplay that was over 2 KD and I Finished top of the leaderboard. So I was like, you know what? That's gonna be a good enough gameplay for what I need it for today We're talking about some infinite warfare stuff and some modern warfare remastered stuff The first thing that I want to talk about is the infinite warfare stuff Most of this stuff is just like drama and the community kind of coming up with crazy ideas and stuff and Sort of that kind of issue So we're talking about infinite warfare first and the idea that sniping is going to be headshot only in infinite warfare what that means basically a lot of people kind of skew what that means. I've seen a couple of videos where people were talking about it. I'm like, nah, uh, stop right there. You're just going to make the audience get really confused. A lot of people have been, ma been making it seem like the only way to get a kill with a sniper rifle in Infinite Warfare is if you get a headshot. Totally, totally, totally not going to happen. You're still going to get hit markers if you hit, them, if you hit them in the body. So don't freak out. The thing that only headshots only kind of means is you're only going to be able to get a one shot one kill if you hit them in the head which is how a lot of sniper rifles kind of work that's how the dracon works in this game unless you're playing hardcore uh most for the most part the rsa interdiction before it got buffed was more or less just a one shot kill if you hit them in the head and basically that's what they've been saying like that's what a lot of youtubers and stuff in the community have been saying that oh there's it in the full game there's been this leak and stuff and that in the full game of infinite warfare you're only going to be able to get headshots headshot one shot one kills with your sniper rifles that is so i don't believe it okay it's very possible but i don't believe it in the actual beta or pre-alpha i guess that they play or alpha or whatever it was that they played at cod xp of the game there were one shot kills to the body not just to the head with some sniper rifles so unless they're going to completely overhaul the game and change every single sniper rifle on all the statistics on all the sniper rifles to make them one shot kills to only the head which i really don't believe they're going to do you don't have to worry about it. Even if they do do that, still, it's going to be easy enough to use sniper rifles. The whole sniper community is freaking out. I've seen a couple different phase members make videos and stuff on this and just talk about, oh, like, oh, the sniper is going to be ruined in Infinite Warfare. This is just more cause for us to go play Modern Warfare Remastered instead. But it really, I can't see them doing that. There hasn't been a Call of Duty game yet where there hasn't been at least one sniper rifle that could get a body shot, one shot, one kill. And it's kind of, it makes sense that way. You should always be able to get a body shot, one shot, one kill with most of the sniper rifles. The semi-automatics like the uh, Dracon, that's a different story. But with bolt action sniper rifles, you should be able to get a one shot, one kill body shot almost, like most of the time. Like usually the one shot, one kill multipliers are right around like chest and up or stomach and up. I think with the SVG, it's like knees and up in this game. The Locus is uh, waist and up. The RSA Interdiction after its most recent buff i believe is chest and up so it's a lot of the main torso area you can get a one shot one kill on and it makes sense that they would keep it like that in infinite warfare especially now that we moved into the future and we've got these characters that are moving around really fast jumping up and down and flying all over the place it's going to be really hard to get a one shot kill headshot what people are kind of basing that off of like people are comparing it to battlefield right battlefield more or less you're only going to get a one shot kill with the sniper rifle if you hit somebody in the head and that makes a little bit more sense because it's more of a it's more of a realistic game. Like it's a combat simulator. It's not an arcade shooter like Call of Duty. And Battlefield is a lot slower, so it makes sense that a one shot one kill is only going to happen on the head. But in Call of Duty, where everything's kind of close range and everyone's moving around so fast and jumping up and down and flying all over the screen, it makes sense that there's going to be a one shot one kill body shot somewhere on at least the bolt action sniper rifles or the lever action sniper rifles or whatever kind of sniper rifles that don't fire that cannot pull simultaneous follow-up shots like semi-automatics for example so i don't think you need to worry about this one shot only headshot one shot one kills in infinite warfare i really feel like that's just a phase that the uh 
Call of Duty community is going through right now and that it's just kind of like a crazy rumor that's got out of hand a little bit. If it does end up happening to be one shot headshots only, well, I guess you're just going to have to phase up or something because you're just going to have to get good at sniping because I, I don't know. It's kind of hard to hit two shots in a row with a bolt action sniper rifle on an enemy in the body so you're gonna have to get really good at sniping or just start hard scoping again it could be they could be making it so that you have to get headshot like headshots are one shot one kill so that you actually have to go back to regular sniping trying to eliminate quick scoping a little bit but i don't know for the for for now i'm just gonna say that i highly 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 doubt it that there's only going to be one shot one kill headshots the other thing that we wanted to talk about in today's video was a little bit about modern warfare remastered there was a, a big complaint at the at COD XP when people were playing the game at COD XP that, oh, this huge thing has been changed about this game, and it completely ruins the game. We need this fixed as fast as you possibly can. This is just terrible. Oh my god, what are we going to do? It was the obituary feeds icons. This is a big thing that came out of COD XP. Everyone was complaining about this, that the headshot and melee icons in the obituary feed weren't the same as they were in COD 4. You gotta give me a break here. So they've actually had to go back. Raven Software, I believe, is working on Modern Warfare Remastered. They've actually gone back and put in the original headshot and melee icons before they were actually the headshot and melee icons from advanced warfare i believe they were like placeholders or something like that from advanced warfare just because that was the last game raven software actually worked on and people freaked out about it at cod xp they said oh no this is this is completely wrong this isn't the same game because you have a different icon for my headshots in the headshot feed who cares people are freaking out about the littlest tiniest things like this about modern warfare remastered already like this game is called, it's Modern Warfare Remastered. It's not COD 4 again. It's a remastered version of it. They're, they're putting new fucking things into the game and stuff. You can't expect it to be the exact same game that you came away with in 2004 or whenever Modern, whenever Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare came out. I think it wasn't 2004. It was, there, it was more recent than that. But you can't expect it to be the exact same game. It's not going to be the exact same game. This is like the smallest, littlest, tiniest thing to freak out about it's just like people are just like the youtubers that are against this new call of duty coming out and against the call of duty 4 being remastered and all that stuff it's like they're just nitpicking and finding all the little stupid things to complain about and it's just ridiculous so when the game comes out please do your best not to complain about the headshot icons in the freaking obituary feed like it's a remastered game Get with the times, just enjoy the game as it is. You're lucky that we're even going back to Modern Warfare at all. So, just enjoy what game you have and shut up about it. Like, if you want to point out mistakes, like, point out actual in-game, like, flaws. Don't point out, oh, that icon doesn't look the same as it used to. Nobody cares. So that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. Tell me what you think about all these things that I talked about in today's video in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. We may do another upload today. I may do another first like reticles because I want to get those done really quick. But I'm also grinding out to level 1000 right now, so I may not get around to it. I'll let you know on Twitter, at BlackTideTV, and I'll see you guys on the next one.